Hi guys, welcome back to another playthrough. Today we have Demon Pur Purge Saga. I was filming like a puzzle mastermind um, because I beat like a maze game that I was going to do a video on in like three minutes and I was like, oh, I can't make a video on something that's three minutes long. But this is a uh, $1.99 on Steam. It's on sale for $1.69 right now. So if you're a math whiz, you can figure out the percent off right now. Um, yeah, we're going to try to beat it because I'm a puzzle mastermind at the moment. Hello, young exorcist. I am Father Desmond. The Vatican gave me the mission by your, to be your mentor in this town for the next days. The town is called Parabolum. It is a small city that survives by royal rural and woodwork activities. Lately, it started to suffer of several cases of demonic possession. It's complete bullshit. Go outside, and I will meet you there to give you instructions on your first case. All right, dude. You taught me into it. How do I move? Arrow keys? Do I have to click? Oh, I do have to click. What's up, dude? The town is filled with... Oh, I don't know how to speak like Mario. It's a me, a Mario. The town is filled with demons. I don't feel safe out there. They could take the form of people, animals, or even objects. I don't know. I don't even know how to say Mario things. Like, whoa! I hope you can save us from this curse. Father Desmond can no longer take, no longer can take it alone. Oh, he was taking it all right. I am an exorcist like yourself, also under Father Desmond's teachings. My focus now is to learn how to craft the exorcism relics. The relics are used during the exorcism rite to purge the demons. You just need to combine them over the exorcism case. Alright. Father Desmond once was a great exorcist himself. He left that position as it is difficult to do so now I'm at his age. But he does, still does an amazing job looking over our town and teaching young exorcists like you and Sonia. Okay. What about you? Oh, she don't want to talk to me then. Okay, cool. You know that the exorcism case takes the form of a org during the rite. It changes its form on the each demon it faces. The exorcism case also grows as you grow face stronger demons. I still do not understand this holy phenomena. Phenomena. Do 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 do. Phenomena. Do 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 do. Okay, demon cat, you want some? Get some, demon cat. Oh, as this is your first demonic encounter. Here, I will guide you on how to perform the right correctly. I know how to do it. I don't need help. Swipe the right objects to form lines just above to damage the demons. Huh. Keep doing it until you cast away the devil. Be aware of your health during the right. May the Holy Spirit be with you. Up a bless. Oh, I didn't even do anything. I'm whooping his ass. Look at me. I'm the best. Oh my goodness. Can you believe it? I purged it. I didn't even do anything. It's amazing. It's a miracle. I'm Father Emmett. My name sucks. I... Oh, I'm not supposed to click on the portal. Oh, did I break it? I'm so... I'm confused. Okay. Let's just go past the portal, actually. You want some? Demon crows? Okay. Alright. Boom. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. We're doing it. I'm actually not good at these types of games, surprisingly. <laughs> But I'm winning. I think I'm winning. I don't know. It's actually pretty tied. I think they're winning. Huh. This is bullshit. <laughs> Alright. No moves. Oh, hell, does that mean I lose? What happens if I have no moves? Oh, that's no good. Yeah, go. What's happening? Cross attack. Game broken. The bird's fucking me up. Oh, this is bullshit, though. I'm confused what happened there, but I couldn't move and the bird was just murdering me. I guess it's based off time, so I have to go as quick as possible. But I had like a thing lined up and it just wasn't doing anything, so that was kind of fucked up actually. Boom! Take that bird! Wow, this is hard, man. I suck at this, actually. What am I doing? What's the point? Am I doing the good? Like. Nothing's telling me that I'm the best. Ah, oh, demon boy, get ready to get freaking purified, little punk. Wuss. Oh wait, is he killing me? Oh shoot. I have a move? 
Oh boy, this isn't good. Um, yeah, I don't think I have any moves. This just sucks. Bro, I didn't even get to do anything. I just started with no moves. That's bullshit, actually. <laughs> okay, game. <laughs> You're gonna just start me with no moves? That's really kind of messed up, actually. <laughs> what the... F Tragic, bro. I feel like that's poor game design. That sometimes I can start with a wombo combo, and then sometimes I start with no moves. I don't think I have any moves. Oh, man, I suck. This is like RNG, though. Like, this is heavily RNG. It's not like it has a set thing. It just spawns you however it spawns you, and you just have to hope it spawns you well. Yeah, I think that's pretty poor game design, actually. I'm still gonna try to beat it, but I don't think there's achievements in this game. Oh, boy, what the fuck? Do I have no moves again? Oh. Oh, oh, there we go. I was about to say, you didn't get me again. I mean, like, all you really play around you have is, like, trying to make the blocks move as much as possible in, like, areas with more blocks at the top. But, uh, yeah, not too hot on this. One, I suck at these games naturally, but two, the fact that I get no moves sometimes when the game's just started. Not too, that's not a good look, my dudes. And it did just come out, so I'm sure they'll work on it, but really, I feel like you need to make these games with like a set pattern so people can like learn and get better at the game instead of just hoping that they win by RNG. You feel me? I could be completely wrong. It could be starting the same way. I mean, I could be wrong, but I don't think so. Because I said so. Little demon. Okay, so there's a little cross when I clear something out. I actually, I know I'm not wrong because I hit like one. I started one match over and I had like everything lined up for me automatically, which was, I guess, good. Sick. Sick play, dog. Boom! What I also hate is I could make a really sick move and then get no moves based off like how things spawn. I wonder how they choose how it spawns though. Is there like a way I can tell or is it RNG? It kind of makes sense if they show you what could happen in the future. That would be a good change, I think. Having set moves and having it where... I mean, I know you're trying to make the, every fight diff different by having, like, random generated stuff. But you could just screw your player like that, which is kind of dumb. I don't like that. But I guess that's preference. No, it's not preference. That's dumb. <laughs> that's dumb. It shouldn't be RNG whether you can win or not. Granted, now that the board's getting bigger, the RNG system seems to work a little bit more, possibly. So maybe it's only early stages where that comes into play, but... I feel like the more you allow your players to plan and stuff, the more skill it allows the player to have, which in turn makes the game more fun. That's just my my opinion. I still like it. I think it's pretty dope. I like the graphics. I like the fact that I'm fighting with puzzles. Um, the sound effects are alright, even though everything's making the same noise at me. That's alright. I guess. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Alright, this is gonna be a big one. Take that, sucker. Yeah, it seems that as you get bigger maps, it's less likely that you just get completely RNG dumped upon. But I feel like that could increase as well as we get more symbols in the game as well. That's usually how it goes. Boom. Um, yeah, I'm screwed. Do I lose if it's no moves or do I just lose health? Oh, okay, it just kind of resets if you have no moves. Okay, I kind of get that then. Maybe I was being too harsh. I still feel like it's better though if you have like a set pattern instead of RNG. But. Unless they're going to add a PvP and then you really want it to be RNG, so everybody... Oh no, actually you want both players to have the same thing, actually, if you make a PvP. So people feel like rewarded for playing better on the same map. Do I have no moves? I don't see them if I... Oh, there it is. I'm so dumb. Boom, boom. Take that. I like how different symbols do different things, though. It seems like the white milk thing, like, kind of heals me. Back at it again with no moves. Boom. How about that for no moves, son? I win yet? Yeah, I do like that it doesn't make you auto lose when you have no moves. It just kind of makes you take a little bit of extra damage. That's kind of smart. I dig that. 
That's that's pretty smart by the creator. How many stages are there? Let me go travel. Father Emmett needs to know. Why am I wearing band-aids for? Is they, they, are they going to give me like some story, like some backstory, like what's going on? Might need another shot soon. I'm trying to finish off the last of my Jaeger and then I might stop drinking. Forever. Or until I feel like drinking again. Who knows? Yeah, I guess if there is like a, like no moves isn't an auto lose, I guess it, does, it is kind of preference if you want like RNG every battle or something like that. But I, I, like I said, my preference would be more to like having like a set tile base so you can have more strategy. And like feel like you're improving instead of just kind of hoping to get really good RNG. Boom. Is the white milky thing the only thing that heals me? I have a hard time watching it while I'm trying to fight. There's a lot going on on my screen. I did the wrong thing there. Oh well. Whoopsie! Boom. Alright. Boom! Yeah, baby! I'm kicking this doll's booty, boy! Yeah, this is kind of relaxing though. It's not like super hard yet, anyways. Because the demons don't really change the method to their madness. There's nothing like where they interrupt you or any kind of like block or anything like that. I feel like there should be if there's like boss fights, kind of like the demon boy. Because I feel like this is kind of getting easier as we're getting more board places. Because you can see the board gets bigger every like farther we get with the demons. I do wish there was more story as well. I like that there's puzzles, but I don't really... Like, it's just like, oh, fight all these demons. And I'm like, okay, cool. I got you. I haven't seen story since I left the chapel. Ooh. Whammo. Kablammy. Ooh, that was a five stacker. And it only did 100 damage. Wow, that's really underwhelming. Sick. <laughs> And it doesn't seem like... Like, see how these, I get like multiples of them and they still only do 60 damage? I feel like they should do more when I get like a chain combo like that, right? I feel like that should be the case and that's not... It doesn't feel very rewarding to me. Like, I feel like if I get like a big RNG super lucky combo, the demon should be feeling the pain. I shouldn't be doing the same amount of damage. That needs to be changed if they would. Or something to think about. I'm not going to tell them to change. They can do whatever they want. It's their game. I'm just saying as someone that's playing it, that seems like a good idea to me. Which is pretty much all I do on these game reviews is basically give my thoughts on how to improve the game in my theory. And sometimes I'm wrong. Sometimes creators bring up like really good points and stuff. Why they have certain things a certain way. Or or if I like think that the game's unbeatable, they'll be like, Oh, you could do this, dummy. Red Hibiscus is a very good example of that. I thought... The game was unbeatable, and then they talked to me about it, and I was like, okay, I'm an idiot. You're right. You're right. <laughs> I don't think I'm wrong here, though. I'm just kind of giving opinions. I'm not saying it's unbeatable. Red of because I was wrong. I learned from that. I learned to try really hard on games and then figure out if they're actually broken or not. Even though I did give that one like a three... I tried, played that for like two hours before I gave up on it. That, like that one final level I played for like two hours. And sorry I'm like talking super fast, but I'm like brains working and I'm drinking and like a wombo combo. Plus there's not really much for you to watch. I'm just kind of destroying these demons absolutely because I'm Father Emmett, the greatest exorcist that the world has ever seen. When exorcists got nothing on this son. Nothing. See look at that RNG right there, boy. I just smacked the demon out of that thing. But like I said, there's no like super bonus in damage. You're basically just trying to make things as fast as possible instead of trying to set up bigger things, to be honest with you. Might actually be more, um, nah, I wouldn't say that. I was about to say it might be a little bit more better to like not do big combos, but that's not true. Cause you're doing the same amount of damage regardless. 
and the faster you get your stuff out, the better. So that's like the only perk of the combos. It doesn't do more damage. It just gets your moves out a little bit faster without you having to click as much. I wonder how long this is. It can't be too long because there's only like 100, 200 megs in the game. Oh so yeah, it can't be too long. We're probably around in the corner. Well, it's gra granted, it's not very graphically heavy or anything like that. It's just like the same soundtrack going over and over again. So, it could be really long. I don't know, though. Kind of animated, so I doubt it. Probably nearing the end now, boys. Demon Crow's B. Where was Demon Crow's A at? Question. Boom. 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 Like, you get more damage when you have further across, but not a lot, actually. I think, like, five across is, like, 120 or something. That's not, like, amazing. It's, like, 60 for three in a row. <laughs> it's not great. Uh-oh. And this isn't filming up my whole screen. I'm not sure if that's a me problem or the game problem, but that's annoying. <laughs> that's annoying. Alright guys, so I had to replay through the level 9 and level 10 fight because the game didn't record it for whatever reason. I will say, I'm hoping... Huh, I don't think this is worth a dollar nine. Like, I, well I paid a dollar sixty nine because it's on sale. But I, like, the level of content in this game is kind of free to play unless like when the full version comes out we don't have to pay for it again. If I had to pay for this and the full version, nah, screw that. Because this version right here doesn't really have... I get a dollar's not much, but there's not really much in the game at all. Like, it's not even fleshed out fully yet. Really, if anything, this should be like a prologue, and if you want to sell the full game for more, that'd make more sense than... selling like a... unedited version that has barely anything in it. And then... selling it again. I don't know what they're doing yet, so I'm not going to say too much about it, but I'm just saying for... Unless this gets you the full version as well, I don't think it's worth $1.69 to be honest with you. But, that's just my thought. It's, it's a cool concept, but like there's a lot of things that could be improved upon, like the combo system. Because you get the same amount of points for almost every move you make, even if it's like a chain move or anything, or if you have like a, like a long bar move or anything like that, it's like the same amount of points regardless, so there's no like feeling of satisfaction when you hit like a wombo combo. And it's really RNG anyways, because you just kind of spawn into these things randomly. I mean, it is better that the no moves doesn't make you insta lose, like I thought it did originally. But still, it's not like um, you can get better at it, you just kind of hope you get better things. Um... And you just try to make it as fast as you can. There's no reason to look for like big combos or anything like that because you don't get anything bonus for it. Um, and then the bosses don't do anything special either. They're just all the same. Everything in the game is the same. There's no story outside the very beginning of the game and there's not even much for that except, oh, you're going to kill demons and I'm an old man. I'm going to teach you how to catch Pokemon. That's pretty much the script of Pokemon stolen without any of the other parts. Like the very start where the old man's like laying out in the middle of the road. That's what the story of this game is. <laughs> Except it has preachers and demons. There's no achievements either, which is kind of lame. For a puzzle game. I, uh, honestly, I don't know how hard it is to get achievements in your game, but you'd think there would be for a puzzle game. It kind of give you some kind of satisfaction for sick plays. I did die to him the first time I played, though. But yeah, uh, I guess I clicked off the screen because this isn't full screen, which is also really annoying. It's a window mode. I don't know if there's a way to make it full screen. I don't think there is. I didn't see any options. Yeah, there's no full screen here. So, it's annoying. <laughs> it's annoying. Uh, I might be annoying, but that is annoying as well. Um, but like I said, it's not a terrible game. The concept's cool, but it's not much of a game either. It's really short. And granted, these kind of games aren't like amazing to begin with, like the Connect 3 thing, like that's not an amazing game at all. It's like a crappy phone game. If you put some story in it or made it somehow like original, that'd be kind of cool. I mean, you got these things that do different things, but it's not that different. Anymore. It's like, I think the white thing heals you and everything else seems to do damage mostly. 
So, uh, yeah, it's not... You could get this game for free on your mobile phone. And actually, you could probably actually get a better one, like, uh, what I have, Puzzles and Dragons? There's a lot like this, but you unlock dragons and stuff, and you actually unlock things. That's better than this, and that was free to play. <laughs> this doesn't have any story. I know I'm being kind of, like, brutal and honest. I mean, it's an indie, probably an indie developer, so it's kind of mean. But, I mean... Hopefully the harshness will help them. I'm not trying to be a super dick, but I'm just trying to be kind of honest. So if anybody watches my channel and they're like, Oh, I might want to pay for this, I would not recommend it. Yet. I don't know. The full game might be a ton better, but... I'd wait to see if the full game costs more, or if this is, like, the price that the full game's going to be overall. Because I wouldn't pay $1.69 for this. This is a, a prologue. That's not amazing. This is why I stick to free-to-play games, because when it's free-to-play, I can't... I do tell crap sometimes if it's, like, broken, but I feel like when you actually... Even though it's, I, again, it's, like, $2 when it's not on sale, and it's $1.69 when it is on sale. So, I mean, it's still not a lot of money, but, like, I don't know. When I pay for a game, even if it's, like, a little amount, I feel like it's... I, I keep it up to the free-to-play standards, and I play some really good free-to-play games. Like, really, really good free-to-play games. So. I kind of... That kind of ruins my, uh... I guess that kind of ruins my insight for being, like, super nice about this kind of thing. And if the creator's watching this, I'm not trying to be a dick. It's a cool concept. Just not great execution. Do not take it to heart. Try not to hate me. <laughs> or hate me, I don't care. Hate me, but make good changes. That's what I want. Do that one. Alright. And see, these fights get so long just because, like, the combos don't stack up damage, bro. Like, you can't do any additional damage outside of just, like, it's just tedious. It's tedious. It's not, it's not fun, it's not rewarding, it's tedious. It's tedious. Man. You know what's funny is, if my first video were like completely recorded, I would not be talking all this crap right now. Because I, I thought this was like a full game when I bought it. And then once I got to the end, it was like, oh, thank you for playing. Full game will release soon. That's when I started going in on it. Alright, guys. Well, full version coming soon. I'll probably... Uh, I'll think about... I'll see what they say when the full version comes out, and I might pay for it again. If they say they made some changes and some fixes, if it's the same thing, if it doesn't, if it doesn't say there's any changes or anything, it's just like, oh, the bigger version of this game, I will not buy it. But yeah, thanks for watching as always, guys. Sorry I got a little bit harsh there, but I just wanted to be honest. Bye. Oh, and thanks for watching. Hey. Now bye. Bye. I got end on that. Oh my god. Fuck it. <laughs>